Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we're watching Django Unchained. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving on into a Quentin Tarantino film, Django Unchained. I'm pretty excited to watch this one. I have heard about it a lot, but have never seen it. It's definitely been on my list for quite a while. Some of y'all may be wondering, Natalie, what gives? You haven't watched any other Quentin Tarantino films on your channel. What about all the other ones? There's so many great ones to choose from, Kill Bill, Pulp Fiction, Inglorious Bastards. What what gives? Where are they? Well, I've seen all those, and I haven't seen Django Unchained. I also thought it could be kind of fun to watch this movie for the month of February, as it is Black History Month. I know this movie is not really based off of historical events. It's more like getting revenge on racist slave owners, but that sounds like fun to me. I'm excited. I think it'll be really satisfying. For me, as a Jewish girl, when I watched Inglorious Bastards, I remember that movie was really satisfying, even though that is not how World War II ended, but it was really fun to watch that movie and get this sense of vindication and revenge. Um, it's also really meta in the way that it ends. I won't talk too much about it, but it's a great movie if you haven't seen it, as are a lot of Quentin Tarantino films. I've only seen things like Kill Bill or Inglorious Bastards once, so I am open to watching them on my channel anyway, because it's not like I remember everything from those movies. Pulp Fiction, I'm a little bit more familiar with. I actually did go as Mia Wallace years ago for Halloween one year. It's on my Instagram if you want to check that out. I think you have to go back to like 2019 to find it, but I don't post very often, so it shouldn't take you very long. But this is a movie of his that I have not seen, and I'm just kind of excited to see how it was made, how it was acted. We have a pretty powerful cast with people like Leonardo DiCaprio and Jamie Foxx. I think Samuel Jackson is also in this movie as well. Quentin definitely likes to use a lot of the same actors over and over again with some new ones thrown in from time to time, but that's kind of how a lot of directors operate. Once they're familiar with the way an actor works, if the chemistry is good, they like to bring them on to other projects. And all in all, I don't know too much about this movie. I just know that it centers around themes of slavery. It takes place during the time of slave ownership here in America, which is a very dark time. So I expect this movie to be kind of tough to watch in certain moments. I expect characters, maybe played by Leonardo DiCaprio, to be not so likable. <laughs> maybe make me a little bit angry, but I'm hoping for a lot of redemption, a lot of vengeance and satisfactory payback, if you will. That's kind of what I'm expecting from this movie, from the little that I do know, but I don't really know any detailed plot points or who most of the characters are playing. I just know that Jamie Foxx is our protagonist, and I'm pretty sure that Leo plays the antagonist. So with all that being said and all my assumptions, I think... That's all I have for this intro. So if you guys are ready, I think we should grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Oh, I love this song is, I didn't know that this was a song. So is it based off of the story of the song? Or does this story have somewhat historical references to it? I'm also really wondering where they shot this. This looks really familiar. I've just camped so much in like the deserts around Los Angeles that I'm, I'm just like, where is this? Two years before the Civil War, thank you. Thank you, closed captions. Somewhere in Texas. Who's that stumbling around in the dark? A lot of fast zooms, punch-ins. Is that a dental card? What is with the tooth? If you were to see any of these three gentlemen again, would you recognize them? Hey, stop talking to him like that. Like what? Like that. Asking him questions, like talking to him like a person. Ascertain his English, you moron! God. I don't care. No sale. No sale? You don't even know the price he's offering. Did you simply get carried away with your dramatic gesture or are you pointing your weapon at me with lethal intention? He's pointing it at you with lethal intention. Very well. I feel kind of bad for the horse, though. If you could keep your caterwauling down to a minimum, I'd like to finish my line of inquiry with young... Jim. His leg is just shattered and crushed under the horse. Mr. Speck, how much for young Django here? Mr. Speck ain't gonna get where he wants to go. You might as well free all the slaves. Could you hold this for a moment? Wow, look at that. 
Wow. He's so, he's so trusting. Oh my God. He's like, this crazy white man. God damn it. Oh, oh, I felt that. Oh, my leg. Five for young Django here. Look, he's not a thief, I guess, even though people shouldn't be property, but. You could unshackle yourselves. Yeah, give him the key, yeah. Put a bullet in his head, bury the two of them deep, and then make your way to a more enlightened area of this country. Yeah, get the f out of Texas. You just gave that one guy a gun, too. Like, here, take it. Now, wait a minute, fellas. Let's talk about this. Oh, there, there ain't nothing to talk about. No, no, please. Ooh, the blood, okay, Quentin, like, violence is fine, but like, do we, that was a lot of splatter. Good morning, innkeeper. Two beers for two weary travelers. Know, he's not gonna give one of y'all a beer. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. The Zoom <laughs> to express his shock, his racist surprise. Wow, that's so funny. And this, the last movie I saw Christoph Waltz in, he, by Quentin Tarantino, he was like, unlikable. And this one, he's very likable. I would like the two of us to enter into an agreement. In exchange his help for his freedom. Like you help me, you can be free. Even though he could probably just run away right now. I'm looking for the Brittle brothers. You point them out and I kill them. He likes that. <laughs> He's like, okay, F yeah. Now, why y'all wanna come into my town and start trouble? That's starting trouble. Cause Jamie Foxx rode in on a horse. We're in trouble now. And to come into Bill Shop's town and show your- My bet. <laughs> he just shot the sheriff! But he did not shoot the deputy. Sorry. He's a faster shot, which is kind of all that matters out here in the Wild West. Oh, she fainted. <laughs> a lot of white men are gonna die in this movie, huh? And now, Django, you may choose your character's costume. He's gonna let me pick up my own clothes. Yeah, but of course. We're gonna have a fashion show moment. And then the music comes back in. Oh, that's great. That's a funny choice. Ah, oh, he picked such fancy clothes. Oh my God. Oh, we got a haircut. This is crazy. My name is Dr. King Schultz. This is my valet, Django. And these are our horses, Tony and Fritz. <laughs> oh my God, he bowed. That was so cute. Well, what if I was to say I don't like you or your fancy pants and I wouldn't sell you a tinker's damn. A tinker's damn? What does that mean? What? Probably just means jack sh Mr. Bennett. The <laughs> Mr. Bennett. I have 5,000 things I might say that could change your mind. $5,000? That would be like an insane amount of money. Well, come on inside. And That'd be an the insane the amount of money. Yeah, <laughs> it changes tune. Django is a free man, you understand? You can't treat him like any of the other around here because he ain't like any of the other around here. You got it? You want I should treat him like white folks? No. <laughs> this guy's at odds with what he's having a hard time. His racism won't allow him to say that we can treat him like white folks. Oh my God. What? A, I'm wondering like why we're here. Does he really want to buy one of his slaves or does he, is he going to kill this guy? Three brothers? Uh-huh. Could you point one of them out to me? Well, one's over in that field. Here's a telescope. Is that one of them? Are we gonna take all the brothers out one by one over time? That's cool. She, she, she working the house, John. You can mess the skin up. Oh, he's trying to convince him not to hurt her. He tried, he really tried. Oh, it's cause they ran. Oh, oh no. Hey, cause what you wanna keep me funny for you, John, please. <laughs> I think he just gets off on making you beg. These men are pathetic. I like the way you beg, boy. Mm-hmm, I knew you did. Is that who you was looking for? Uh-huh, thank you, Bettina. Go get that white man I came here with. I was gonna say, maybe don't go there first by yourself. We need, we need the white guy. What's his, what's his name, Christoph Waltz's character? But I do want him to stop this happening. They're just always whipping people. Like, they're always whipping women. John Brill. Oh. <gasps> Dramatic face off. I will say this outfit is so silly, but it's like a great stark contrast to what he was wearing before. Already? This is already happening? I like the way you die, boy. Wow, this is happening so fast. I thought we were gonna take the whole movie to find him. <laughs> 
some of the women looked shocked, but some of them were just kind of like, ooh. <laughs> you sure that's him? Yeah. Positive? I don't know. He's gonna shoot from this positive. far? I don't know what positive means. Oh! <laughs> we have to talk about the definition of positive, but he's that good of a shot that, oh, the flowers! That's crazy! The way they executed that. Wow! That was awesome. Oh, bravo. Positive, he did. Yep, there you go. Good job. Great use of that word. Load up the bodies as quickly as you can. Let's get out of here. Whoo! Wow! Well, we accomplished that real quick, so I guess the rest of the movie is just gonna be him getting to his wife, which is more interesting anyway, to be honest. Oh, he hid money? What's in the, what did he just put in there? Why did that look like dynamite? But money came out of the tooth. That's him, son. Jonah Hill, hi! Uh-oh, they're coming. They're coming for you guys! Wait, did they know that they were gonna be pursued? Cause, oh, the bodies are there and they loaded the tooth with what looks like dynamite. See, they think they're in the cart. I think they're way too smart. What about yeah. you, Robert? Yeah. Can you see? Not too good. <laughs> But I can see you pretty good, more or less. <laughs> this is hysterical. Go, y'all. I'm going home. Now I watch my wife work all day, and all I can hear is criticize, criticize, criticize. From now on, don't ask me your mind for nothing. <laughs> yeah, you get out of here, dude. You might be the only one to survive. I think we all think the bag was a nice idea. <laughs> this scene! Oh my god! really can't see. It's great that they can't see. This is so funny. Oh my God, this is crazy. Yep, there we go. Amazing. Well, that one guy who left early made a great decision. Would you care to? Wow, look at him. I wonder if he can do it on his first try from that far away. He's getting away. Okay. Do you? They got the horse. Oh no, we got him. Whoa, ah! the reveal of that. The kid's a natural. Yeah, it really is. You are a natural born assassin, bro. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, music just keeps changing up and I love it. He's still got the same, oh my God, he's got the same winter coat from the Speck Brothers. It's interesting. I kind of like that. Oh, narration time. And after a very cold and very profitable winter, Django and Dr. Schultz came down from the mountains and headed for, it's gonna be Greenville, Missouri. Nice, or no, sorry, Mississippi. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot. The other state that starts with Mrs. He owns the fourth biggest cotton plantation in Mississippi, Candyland. They call it Candyland? Apparently that's where your wife is. Oh, Leo probably owns her. You want me to play a black slave? Ain't nothing lower than a black slave. Yeah, true. It's pretty messed up. Then play him that way. It's time to act. Django, this is Mr. Candy's lawyer, Leonid Moore. We're gonna be meeting Leo soon. Oh, that's funny. We're gonna be meeting. <laughs> I'm bored. This seems like a good bit of fun. Here he is. Ah, the zoom. So many zooms. And we're just making him fight. Are they fighting to the death right now? Like what's gonna happen? This is crazy. We're just making, so the the show is here. Like, is it, they just fight to the death? This is crazy. It's like gladiator, you know? Except with a smaller crowd. I hate this. I don't wanna watch this up close. I hate it. Man, I would have such a hard time acting like I liked this. You know what I mean? Just sitting there like, wow, good fun. Good fun! Uh. Thank you for not showing me, Quentin. Go on, go finish him. This is f killing your own people for the white men clapping, cheering you on to dance. You know what I mean? It's just awful. It's so sad. But like, what? What? I don't blame them. It's like, what are they gonna do? It's sickening. Ugh. Oh, we won't talk in business yet. Look at the drink. He you were discussing my curiosity. Uh-huh. Wait, that's what he drinks? In a fruity coconut in a martini glass with pearls with a But if I made you an offer so ridiculous, you'd be forced to consider it. <laughs> Who knows what could happen? <laughs> and what do you consider ridiculous? Oh. How much would you say, Django? 
Uh, I don't know. What's a ridiculous amount? Twelve thousand dollars. He's sitting through the straw. Well, gentlemen, you have my curiosity. Well, that that's too. Now you have my attention. Oh, oh, okay, that worked. Okay, all right, all right. Let's go to Candyland. I don't know how we're gonna get his wife out in a way that's quote unquote kosher with you know with like a bill of sale. The name of the game is keep up, not catch up. <laughs> Touch your guns, you die. Everybody calm down. I like that he's sticking up for himself, even though they're all like, they all want to shoot him so bad. Oh, I'm gonna go walking in the moonlight with you. You wanna hold my hand? <laughs> I hope that guy gets shot. That would be fun. Let's go walking in the moonlight together. I like. I really like that he stood up for himself there and just like laid, laid it down. Like, I am a free man. But it's interesting, we did a close up on one of these men here that are chained up and you could tell he was like looking, he looked angry and I was wondering if he was looking at Django with anger because Django did say that like, there's nothing lower than a black man who is in the slave business. Yeah, this guy, this guy. Yeah, 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 makes sense. You get the molasses out your ass, you keep your goddamn eyeballs off me. He is a rambunctious sword, ain't he? <laughs> as long as they're buying it, that's all that matters. Can we set all these men free at the end? Is there any way we could just buy Candyland? Now my world, you gotta get dirty. This is him getting dirty. So that's what I'm doing. And I honestly think, as sad as it is, it's smart to put on this act of him treating the slaves horribly so that it's buyable. Man, what a classic style of plantation. I feel like, I, I wonder where they filmed this. Is he, is he in charge of the house? Like what Django said before, he's like a house slave. So the only person lower than that is a, a black man dealing in slavery, which is why he's making that face. It's like the toughest act in the world to put on what he has to do. They have no idea he's here to free. It. It's like a shame. It's like he, he doesn't really do this. It's an act, but it adds to the tension. Hello, Steven, my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, my ass. Oh, that's Samuel Jackson. Whoa, I didn't even recognize him. I didn't recognize him till he spoke. I forgot Samuel Jackson was in this movie. He gonna stay in the big house? <laughs> Steve, he's a slaver. It's different. If you ain't got no problem with burning the bed, the sheets, the pillowcases, everything else when this black ass mother That is my problem, they are mine to burn. Steven, what the f man? You, oh my God, oh, he's been conditioned. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've heard a lot of good things about you. Well, it's not every who speaks German, don't you know? <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. Can you get the f out of here? And I shall bring. You're much obliged. He's like, whatever, it's fine. Just get the f out of here. <laughs> oh, he's making the bed. Interesting. He's making it. Like, don't worry, we're not using this. We're just, we're, we're having a reconnecting moment between husband and wife. I'm so excited. Oh, he's a flair for the dramatic. He wants to show you. But don't scream. Don't scream, okay? Don't draw attention. Oh, through the door. Oh! I'm gonna cry. I'm totally gonna cry. Oh, he did that to signal him to open the door. Oh, and he's backlit like a little halo, like a little angelic figure. She's painting. She's painting. You silver tongued devil, you. Oh, wait a minute, I, that was so funny. Oh, sweet baby girl. He's a champion. Mm -mm. All three are champions. Mm. Samson a champion. The mother too pretty good. Count on it. <laughs> that coordinated double take, that was so funny. Oh, she's here working too. Mm. I need something more than just a big so many looks going around, it's stress inducing. It looks like this pony's got big eyes for Django. Oh. <laughs> well. Oh, that's stressful. <laughs> Schultz, don't be so down on yourself. Uh oh, oh, Steven. Oh, Steven's doing double takes. Oh my God. Dr. Schultz, when he was alone with Hilda here, did you, did you just speak German or did you get to take a clothes off? No, it just talked. And... Django! You gotta breathe, you gotta breathe, man, you gotta breathe. Breathe, breathe, Django, breathe. Django! Wood. Look at that, doctor, it's like a painting, look at that. Calvin! At least Laura Lee is stopping it. After dinner. 
After dinner. Yeah, that's an after dinner activity. Django. Carl, come get this girl. Steven noticed. Steven noticed. He knows. Man, it's so interesting having a character like Steven who's on the side of the white men in the house. Them mother ain't here to buy no mandingos. They wants that girl. <laughs> Steven, what the hell are you talking about? He's right. He put it together really fast, but oh God, we did need some more tension. It would have been too easy. Now, why that German give a who that up to son is in love with? I'm sure I don't know. Uh oh, this is gonna this is gonna be bad. Uh oh, sons of. Uh oh, what did he bring in here? What is that? That'd be a hell of a note, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, he's put the axe back on. What is in that bag? Is it a gun? What is in the bag? Skull. Who is your little friend? Here come the threats. This is Ben. Ben, hi Ben. Oh, Ben here took care of my daddy. Uh-huh. And my daddy's daddy. Oh my God, his teeth. I just noticed his teeth for the first time. And the skull of the African here. The area associated with submissiveness is larger than any. Oh, shut up, you racist asshole. I didn't realize we were gonna get a racist science lesson. Hey! Don't lay your palm flat on that tabletop! Man, uh oh. Why has he got blood on his hands? What happened? Did he cut himself? And if y'all want to leave Candyland with Broomhilda, the price is twelve thousand dollars. Do they even have that kind of money? And I take it you prefer the take it or leave it style of negotiation. Yes, I do, Doctor. Then we can examine the three dimples inside Pamela's skull. Now! Oh What's it gonna be, Doc? Huh? What's it gonna be? May I lift the hands off the tabletop in order to remove my pimple? He's gonna pay. He's gonna do it. That will. Oh. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Like an auction hammer. Jesus Christ. You make these gentlemen a receipt for $12,000, please. $12,000. Oh my God, he paid. Thank you for paying, doctor. Thank you for paying. If you care to join me in the parlor, we will be serving white cake. <laughs> white cake? Jesus Christ. We still have 30 minutes in the movie left. I'm, ah, uh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm sorry, King. You're gonna be broke, but it's for the right reason. Oh. He's having a flashback to the way that guy was treated. Yeah, there's 30 minutes left. So we, are we gonna free all the slaves? We have to, right? It's like, great we got a bill of sale for her, but yeah, what about everybody else? Doc, you can't go in there. Uh, Steven, Steven. You ain't got no business going in there. Let it be. He's not upset about what you think about though. He's not upset about the, the money. He's upset about all the people that he can't help. Oh, he's gonna bring him the cake. The white cake is such an interesting choice. You have all these black slaves making white cake. Right over there on that little table. Thank you. God, it's so tense, you know? I'm not gonna feel safe till we get her out of here. Even though like legally she's like safe now, I'm not gonna feel safe till it's like, we're off the property. Mr. Candy. Oh, he didn't say Monsieur. Is he gonna kill him? What a vita zine actually means is till I see you again. And since I never wish to see you again to you, sir, I say goodbye. I'm so scared. Is somebody gonna die right now? Is someone gonna die? Is someone gonna die? I'm scared. One more moment, doctor. Uh-huh, why? In Chickasaw County, a deal ain't done until the two parties have shook hands. That's just a custom. Oh, you're just making it up now. Mr. Pooch. No, 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 no. If she tries to leave here before this loving German shakes my hand, you cut her ass down. Shake her, shake his hand. Just do it. I know it's not good to shake this guy's hand. He's a prick. He's an asshole. Oh, <laughs> Jackson, just back it up. I insist. I'm worried you're gonna kill him. If you insist. I feel like someone is about to die. He was about to die. Great. No! The globe is rolling. Hurry up, get that guy. You gotta get that guy. I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. No. Doc, 
helicopter? How did he fly out of the room like that? Oh my God. Well, the doctor went out a hero. Although this really paints a target on their back now, trying to get out of here. Django! Yeah. What? We got your woman. Oh no. Billy Crash here got his pistol upside her head. Ugh. He gonna blow her goddamn brains out. <gasps> oh, it's the moonlight guy. Six. Let me go. Seven. I love you. No. I give up. I got even the way he's lit right now. It's like angelic. I said. I give up. What are we gonna do? There's no way. I was not expecting this turn. Oh my God. Oh my God, he's naked. All because King couldn't shake his hand, which I kind of respect. I wouldn't want to shake that guy's hand either, but damn, man. All day, every day, you will be swinging a sledgehammer. Steven, what the f is wrong with you? Why are you, you seem like you're getting joy out of this. And that will be the story of you. No, no, oh my God, are you kidding me? No. Oh, and they're making him run. Everybody else is traveling in the cage, he has to run. Oh, that's the same guy that he had a conversation with before, the guy that was angry at him. The $11,500 fortune waiting for you back at Candyland is in the form of a wanted dead or alive bounty on Smitty Bacall and the Bacall gang. I got the handbill right here in my pocket if you let me get it. Get it in. Oh my God, he still had it. He still had it. You're a slave. Murder. I ain't no goddamn slave. Stagecoach robbery. Do I sound like a slave? He's convincing them all. He's learned so much. Look at him. He's great. I'm so glad he still had that flyer. And this white man was a black kid slave. He won't no slave. His story, his fake story lines up with what happened. Wait, Roy, I mean, this, this could be big, Mike. Wow, this is working. You got yourself a deal, Blackie. Got yourself a deal, Mike. Mike, Mike. <laughs> you are right for a black fella. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're like, what the f again? How is he doing this? This is f***ed up. Can we let these guys go? Don't drop the f thing, all right? Oh my God. I've just had the sights fixed and they're perfect. We're just, we're just giving him get the <laughs> Don't drop it. I just got the sights fixed. They're perfect. Oh, good to know. Boom, boom, boom. Yes! I can't, they're so dumb. Oh my God, they're morons. Yes! Oh, we're riding in bareback. Oh my God. I guess the cage is open. They can go anytime they want. They can leave. Don't let that down. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna blow up the Candyland. We're gonna blow up Candyland. He's not who you thought he was, boys. Yeah, yeah, he's he's got his hope restored. Like, oh man, he is one of us. He's one of my people. Yes. Oh my God, he's a badass. Oh, he's back in here. Is that King? Who is that? Is that King's body? Oh, it is King. I feel the same. Yeah, I feel the same. And, and it's funny because we had that like explanation of like, that means I'll see you soon, not goodbye. It's like, I'll see you later in heaven, you know? It's okay, baby girl. It's me, baby. The music. All right, guys, I'm so happy for you, but let's move. Let's haul ass. Oh, the dynamite. I forgot about the dynamite. He set up dynamite in here, didn't he? <gasps> Look at that outfit. Goodbye, Moonlight. Last time I seen you. You had your hands <gasps> on my- ah! 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 Okay, keep screaming, little boy. The giant go, you black son of a The D is silent here, baby. Yeah, you dummy. Yeah, <laughs> the D is silent. Ah! 
<laughs> oh my God. Will you tell Miss Laura goodbye? Bye, Miss Laura. <laughs> Y'all two run along then. She just is yeeted out of the room. That was so powerful, the gun. She just got yeeted out of there. Oh my God. You can run, but they're gonna find your ass. And when they do, oh, the dynamite. They ain't gonna just kill you. You just stop. Just can this land. And he still takes his time exiting. They're gonna be riding off into the into the distance with the exploding plantation behind them, backlighting them. He's wearing sunglasses at night. He's such a badass. You open it, son of a. Amazing. seen Carrie Washington happy. Can we get the f out of Mississippi now? This was so much fun. Oh my God, the whole time the mic was in the frame. This was so much fun. Um, very satisfying. I was so stressed in the end when he had to get himself back out of slavery again, but it made the ending so much more satisfying because he had to redeem himself a second time and get back on top again with the knowledge that he learned from being given a chance from Dr. King. It just made it that much more satisfying when he was able to really quickly outsmart a bunch of white guys and literally get a hold of their gun in a matter of minutes and kill them all quickly and go back to rescue his wife. It was just awesome, so much fun. And even the redemption of like that one guy who was enslaved, who was looking at him in disgust earlier on in the movie when he saw him riding in with this white guy on this horse. And then in the end, him having this realization like, oh no, he's one of us, he's he's a good guy and he hasn't lost sight of his way in serving white people, he's, he's true to his people. And have that like slow smile come across that guy's face. It was just so, so fun, so satisfying. I feel like everyone did a great job in this movie, especially Leonardo DiCaprio, because that character is like so scary and like hateful and awful but he has to be so charming at the same time, or at least think he's charming, you know? And I remember a while back seeing an interview that Jamie Foxx did talking about Leo's transformation for that role and how he had to kind of like detach from himself, like stop talking to, <laughs> to some of the cast when he'd come in before scenes. Otherwise he would have a hard time, you know, using the N word and using racial slurs at them all the time. He would have a hard time with it. So um, in order to get into that role, he had to like <laughs> detach himself when he came into work and not act like they were friends, which I feel like is the only way you could really do that because this character is just so awful and filled with so much hate. And to really like get into this role and and make it believable, hook, line, and sinker, you have to you have to go there. You have to like detach from <laughs> who you really are as like an empathetic person living in the two thousands. <laughs> But I think he did a phenomenal job. It was, it, I was really scared of him at the end there once he figured out what was going on and he was threatening Hilda with a hammer and making Christoph Waltz's character shake his hand. I was really nervous. I, it was so unsettling. I had no idea what he was gonna do in those moments. And then I could tell someone was gonna die, but I really didn't know who. Um, and it was all because Christoph Waltz's character just couldn't bring himself to shake Mr. Candy's hand. Which, you know, it would have been easier if he had just done that in that moment, right? It would have been easier if he had just shaken his hand. But I really like the fact that he couldn't do it. And that was where he drew the line. He was willing to die on a hill for that cause. For like, no, I am disgusted by this person and I will not stoop to the level of shaking his hand. And it also gave us the opportunity as an audience to get reinvested in the stakes again, um, not get a break from that, but to have the plot go in a different direction for a minute and to go into a darker, deeper place that the hero had to pull himself back out of again. So that in the end, it was just so satisfying to watch him rescue his wife and to get revenge on all of the awful people on the plantation and to blow the up, wreck it. It was so much fun. Yeah, we definitely had a lot of stylization going on with a lot of the fun, funky, like zoom ins and punch ins at certain moments. 
that definitely felt very classic. Quentin Tarantino it reminded me a lot of what I had seen in like Kill Bill. A lot of the gore was very classic. <laughs> Quentin Tarantino. I feel like I could have done without some of the blood and gore, to be honest. Like it was very bloody. Um, I don't mind violence in this scenario because I do think it adds to the story and they're bounty hunters. Like there's gotta be violence. But I just, I don't know if I needed all the splashing and the squirting and the, <laughs> the blood, it was a lot. But it was fun and I really enjoyed watching this movie. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it with me. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I can watch more things like this in the future with y'all. Of course, let me know your suggestions in the comments down below as well as your thoughts and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.